Hello. Hi again. How are you guys? Are you okay? Yes. How are you going your holidays? Are you enjoying? Yes. I hope so, but I'm sure that you are. Yes. So today we are going to continue reviewing all the information that we have learned throughout this month in class. Yes, we are going to do it in a very funny way. Promise. It is a little bit different from the last class, but funny as well. Yes. Ok, so, bienvenidos a la segunda clase, chicos, espero que estéis disfrutando mucho de las vacaciones. Y nada, vamos a continuar repasando todas las cosas que hemos visto durante estos meses y vamos a hacerlo hoy de una manera muy divertida. Quizás un poquito diferente a la anterior, pero divertida igualmente, prometido. Ready to start? Yes? Yes, go. Today we are going to start with... Yeah, we are going to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Do you know the TV program? Yeah, but I think that first we should review some verbal tenses that we need to know before to play. So to start, we are going over to past continuous. So as I said before, we are going to start reviewing different verbal tenses that we should know. Ok, so, um, como os he dicho antes, vamos a empezar eh, repasando diferentes tiempos verbales que deberíamos saber. Ok, so, to start, as I said, we are going to talk about past continuous. Past continuous, we use it to talk about unfinished actions in the past. Lo utilizamos para referirnos a acciones inacabadas y desarrolladas en el pasado. That is, opciones que siguen en desarrollo. For, for example, I was cooking, yo estaba cocinando, I was doing it, lo estaba haciendo, continúa, yo estaba haciendo algo, yeah? Do you understand? Yes? Okay, so let's go to see the structure. The structure is really, 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 really easy. Yeah, it starts with the subject. Yeah, after the subject goes the verb to be in past, verbo to be en pasado, that is, was or were. And then the verb with ing, subject plus was or were plus the verb with ing. It's easy, right? What about interrogative form? When we want to make questions, we only have to do one thing. We have to put was or were before the subject, then the verb with ing. So the structure is was or were plus the subject plus verb with ing plus the rest of the sentence. Again, was or were plus subject plus verb with ing and then the rest of the sentence. Easy, let's go with the negative form. According to it, we have to do the same as present continuous, but in this case, the verb to be has to be in past. So the structure is subject plus was or were not plus ver verb with ing. Again, subject plus was or were not or wasn't or weren't plus verb with ing yeah you got it yes okay so we finish with past continuous it's really easy or not yeah i'm sure that it's really easy for you so let's continue talking about past we need to go now over present perfect yeah I know that maybe this is the most complicated verbal tense that we have seen in class. So that's why I need you to pay attention and go over it, yeah? Okay, so in Spanish, we know it as present perfect. En español lo conocemos como presente perfecto. Yo he comido, yo he desayunado, yo me he lavado los dientes. Can you see? Yeah? Okay, so we use it with past actions that have some importance, some relevance in the present. 
lo utilizamos con algunas acciones, con acciones que tienen algún tipo de relevancia e importancia en el, en el presente. That's why we don't use expressions or words like yesterday, the last year, the last month, and we use expressions and words like today, this morning, this month, this year. Why? Por qué? Because uh, this morning, this year are unfinished actions. Son acciones inacabadas, es decir, que tienen algún tipo de relevancia en el hoy. This morning, esta mañana, continues, because the day continues, porque el día continúa. Esta mañana se refiere al día de hoy. El día de hoy todavía no ha acabado. But, but if I say yesterday, si digo ayer, el día de ayer se acabó. No tiene ningún tipo de relevancia en el día de hoy. ¿Lo veis? The same with this month, este mes, el mes continúa, and the last month, el mes pasado. El mes pasado se acabó. No tiene nada que ver con el mes de ahora. No tiene ninguna relevancia. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. So, now you have, to say, you have to know that it also could be used with words like many times, ever, never, or in, really important. Yeah, remember these words. For or since. For, durante, or since. Desde. Yeah. Okay, you got it. I know that this is a little bit complicated, but I know that you are so smart. So now, let's go with the structure. The structure. Okay, so the construction of present perfect is subject plus have or has. It depends if it is third person or not. If you have a third person subject, you have to use has instead of have. Depende de si es tercera persona o no, tienes que utilizar have o has. Si el sujeto que tienes está en tercera persona, tienes que utilizar has en vez de have. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok, so subject plus have or has plus participle. Ok, again, subject plus have or has plus participle. Ok, so, what is the participle? ¿Cuál es el participio? Ok, in the regular verbs, the participle is the same as the past. The verbs ended in ed. En los regulares, el participio es, el, es lo mismo que el pasado. Es decir, los verbos que acaban en ed. For example, play. Played, played, play present, played past, played again, participle, play presente, played pasado, e igual que el pasado, played, participle. Okay, but what happened with irregular ones? So, in the irregular ones, the participle is the third column. For example, go, went, gone. Go, Present, went, past, gone, participle. En los irregulares es la tercera columna. Es decir, por ejemplo, go is the present, went is the past, and gone is the participle. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. So, for example, I have gone to school this morning. Yo he ido al colegio esta mañana. Yeah, got it? Good. So let's go with the interrogative. Yeah, okay. So if we want to make questions in present perfect, it's easy. You have to write have or has before the subject. Yeah, so the structure is the following. Have or has plus subject plus participle, again, have or has, plus subject, plus participle, and then you have to write the rest of the sentence. Yeah, it's this here, right? Negative form, yeah, so the negative form is really easy. You only have to follow the following structure. Subject, plus, have or has not, or haven't or hasn't, plus, participle. Again, subject 
plus hasn't or haven't or have has not plus participle and then the rest of the sentence so that is this is the end of present perfect are you ready to face an next one yeah go okay so we are done with all the past tenses we are done with them now it's time to talk about future okay so what is future guess el futuro okay so future is a time to be or happen es un tiempo que está por pasar por suceder por venir okay and in english how do we talk about future como hablamos del futuro yeah we use something an auxiliary verb do you know what auxiliary yeah it just starts with w yes so that word is will okay so now that we know that we have to use it to use will so it's time to know how to construct it welcome to will okay so it's time to construct the structure it is really easy i know that every time i say you the same but now promise this is really easy to construct you only have to write the subject after the subject the auxiliary verb will and then the verb again subject will and the verb the verb has to be in present yeah really easy subject will and the verb and after the verb the rest of the sentences that you want to write easy yeah i told you interrogative will okay so as always you only have to write the auxiliary will before the subject that's it so the structure is will plus the subject plus the verb and then the rest of the sentence will subject and the verb and that's it yeah and what about negative what about the negative form so in the negative form you have to write subject plus will not or won't plus the verb and the rest of the sentence again really easy i think this is the easiest verb that we have seen this year don't you we finished with the verbs yes good okay so now that we have reviewed all the verbal tenses i'm wondering Mm. How much money could you get with your knowledge? Let's see it. Here we are. Here we are. Do you want to be a millionaire? Yes. No. I'm sure that you want to be. So how? You need to answer 15 questions to earn a lot of money. Okay, how to do that? So you're going to start for the first one. If your answer is right, you move on to the next one. But if your answer is wrong, you can't move on. You have to stop and you can't earn money. Okay? So El juego tiene 15 preguntas que tenéis que contestar para ganar mucho dinero. ¿Cómo? Se empieza por la, la primera pregunta. Si acertáis, paséis a la segunda. Si no acertáis, os quedáis donde estáis y no podréis ganar más dinero. Ok. So, each question has an amount of money. For example, the first one has $100. You can earn $100. So, la primera pregunta, cada pregunta tiene una cantidad de dinero. Por ejemplo, la primera tiene 100 dólares. Ok, si la aceptáis, podréis ganar 100 dólares. Ok, so, before to start, I have to say that all the game is related with all the verbal tenses that we have seen today. Ok, está todo relacionado con los verbos que hemos visto hoy. And you have three lifelines. Tenéis tres comodines. 50-50, the public one, and the last one that gives you the correct answer. 
Ok, el 50% es del público y es el que os dice la respuesta correcta. All you have to do is to answer a question choosing the correct answer. You do letter A to letter T. Todo lo, lo que tenéis que hacer es contestar correctamente eligiendo entre la letra A y la letra T. Ok, so you ready? Yes. Let's face it. Ok, number one. Rick and Sue, mm -mm, they talk for a walk when it started to snow. Letter A, was taken. Letter B, are taken. Letter C, is taken. Letter D, were taken. What do you think? Letter A, letter B, letter C or D? Take a few minutes to think and answer. Rickham Sue was taken or taken, is taken or taken. What do you think? Letter D. Yeah, it's that our final answer. Good, okay. So, are you ready for the second one? For $200. Which is correct? Letter A, she has gone to France. Letter B, she has gone to France. Letter C, she has went to France. Letter D, she have went to France. Okay, so what do you think? Letter A, maybe? Letter T? Letter B, letter C? I don't know. What do you think? Take your time. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A, she has gone to France, our final answer. Good, so ready for the next question for $300? Yeah, are you in? Are you still in? Yes, yeah, so let's go, question number three. Dina and Lisa, mm -mm -mm, while the movie was playing, Letter A was talking, letter B are talking, letter C were talking, letter D talking. What do you think? Dina and Lisa was talking, Dina and Lisa are talking, Dina and Lisa were talking, Dina and Lisa talking. What do you think? Letter A, letter B, letter C. For three hundred dollars, what do you think? A, B, C, D. Which is correct? Letter C. We're talking. Our final answer. Yes. Good. So now we have three hundred dollars. Let's go to the number four for five hundred. Thomas is sick, so he mm -mm -mm, in class today. A won't be. B will be. C will. D won't. Hmm. Thomas is sick, so he. Thomas is sick. Won't be. Will be. Will, won't, A, B, C, D. What do you think? It must be sick. So he. He won't be in class today. Yes. Good. Okay. Number five. One thousand dollars. Okay, 
Peter and Julia mm -mm, in this school since 2010. Letter A have studied. Letter B have studied. Letter C has studied. Letter D has studied. What do you think? Okay, remember we have three lifelines that I'm going to use when, whenever I want. I'm going to use so maybe it's time to use one. What do you think? Yes? No? Yeah, I think so. So we're going to use the last one. Yeah, this. So the correct answer is letter B. Peter and Julia have studied in this school since, since 2010. Yes. Good. Okay, let's go to the number six. Two thousand dollars. Choose the correct verbal tense. Past perfect, past simple, present perfect, present simple. Okay, so I don't know why the sentence don't appear, but okay, don't worry. So the sentence is I have eaten a lot of today. I have eaten a lot of today. I have eaten a lot of today. What do you think? Letter A past perfect, letter B past simple, letter C present perfect, letter D present simple. I have eaten a lot of today. So the correct answer is yes. Good. So let's go to the number seven for four hundred four thousand dollars. Sorry, four thousand, no hundred thousand. Go. Okay, so we don't have any milk. So I mm -mm, to the store to buy some. Letter A go, letter B will, letter C will go, letter D will go. So what do you think? Letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D. We don't have any milk, so I go, will, will go, will gone. What do you think? Letter C. We'll go. Good. Let's go to the number eight. Okay. So here, yeah, we're lucky, and I'm going to use a lifeline. Okay. So I'm going to use the one. Yeah, the public one. Yeah, the audience. So. I mm -mm, a movie when you called letter A I'm watching letter B watch letter C watching letter D was watching so the audience choose the letter D was watching so are you agree yes I think I'm I'm agree yeah I was watching yes good so let's go to the number nine okay so the telephone was ringing when c mm -mm -mm, to speak letter a began letter b is begun letter c begins letter d begin okay so what do you think for sixteen thousand dollars Letter A, B, C, or D. What do you think? Yeah. Letter, I go to the letter A. Began. The telephone was ringing when she began to speak. Yes. Good. Okay, so question number 10. <laughs> you, <laughs> it's tomorrow. Letter A will do, letter B do do, letter C are doing, letter D did. Okay, so this is a question. Interrogative form. 
What do you think? Um, the sentence talks about tomorrow. Tomorrow. And tomorrow, past or future? What do you think? What do you think? So, the correct answer is letter A. Will you do it tomorrow? We are talking about future. Yeah. Okay. Question number 11. Someone knocked while Charles mm -hmm -hmm, in the garden. Letter A ate. Letter B is eaten. Letter C was eaten. Letter D eats. What do you think? Someone knocked while Charles Eight is eaten, was eaten, eight, to A, B, C, to D. What do you think? Okay, so the correct answer is the letter C. Someone knocked while Charles was eating in the garden. She was doing it. Lo estaba haciendo. Past continues. Our final answer. Yes. Good. Let's go to the number 12. For $125,000. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Jane, mm -mm -mm. when the phone rang. Letter A. Half studied. Letter B. Is studying. Letter C. Does study. Letter D. Was studying. What do you think? A, B, C, or D? Another question. Another question. What do you think? Mm -mm, Jen, mm -mm, when the phone ran. And the correct answer is letter D. Yes. Correct. Ready for the next one? Wow, we're in the number 13. Mm -mm, they finished their homework before 6 o'clock. A will be B R C will D half. What do you think? What do you think? Future, past, present. The correct answer is letter C. Will will they finish their homework before six o'clock? Yes, good, okay. Number 14, I, mm -mm, well, this week. A, hasn't been, B, haven't been, C, weren't, D, wasn't. What do you think? Letter A, B, C, or D? Hasn't been, haven't been, weren't, wasn't. Letter B. Yes. Good. Okay. We have the last one. For one million, one million dollars. Are you ready? Are you still in? Did you get the last question? Yes. No? Okay, let's check if you would be a millionaire. Yes, so which is correct? Letter A, has he ever studied Spanish? Letter B, has he ever studied Spanish? Letter C, have ever seen studied Spanish? Letter D, has ever seen studied Spanish? So what do you think? What do you think? Okay, I remember that we have one lifeline. Yes, the 50-50. You want to use it? Yes. Okay, so I will use that. So you have two choices. Letter A, has he ever studied Spanish? And letter C, have ever studied Spanish? Okay, so your final answer is Letter A. Has he ever studied Spanish? Yes. Good. Good. Are 
are you a millionaire now? Yes, good. So yeah, let's celebrate it. Good. Hey, hey again, how was it? Could you be a millionaire? Okay, but um, earn money make me hungry. Yeah, what do you think? Would you like to make a cake together? Yes, good, I'm starving. But I think that we need to go to the supermarket and I need your help, yeah. Can you help me? Yes, yeah, please, I need your help. I need ingredients, so please come with me, follow me. Thank you for coming with me, because I really need your help, believe me. Okay, so here it is the supermarket, let's in. Okay, so this is the first section, vegetable section. Okay, do you think we need some carrots, zanahorias? Mm, maybe. We can make a carrot cake, why not? It's so tasty. Or oh, do you think we need carrots, coles? Mm, don't think so. Pumpkin? Calabazas? Mm, no. Mushrooms? Mm, no, I don't think mushrooms. Chili? I don't think, I don't think I need chili. Mm, garlic, ajo, tomatoes, tomatoes, lettuce, lechuga, corn. Maybe corn, why not? Yeah, I'm going to take some corn. Yeah, I'm going to take I'm going to take some. And yeah, some potatoes because maybe I will make a Spanish omelette. Yes, why not? Okay, so here we took some carrots, some corn and some potatoes. Good. Okay, so let's go to the next section. First and daily food. Uh, I think I'm going to take flour, arena, but how much do you think will we, we will need? How much? Maybe, yeah, one pack. I think it's gonna be enough. Okay, one pack. Cham? Yeah, maybe my cham. Yeah, I'm going to take cham as well, mermelada, tomato, some juice that you think uses almost not but yeah i'm going to take two bottles of oil yeah beer wine no i'm not alcoholic uh bread okay i will wait to go to the bakery section pasta i will take pasta why not yeah it's it's good to have some at home okay yeah eggs how many eggs do you think we will need five six yeah maybe a dozen it's okay yeah i will take a dozen and water i already have water teas mm. any fruit yeah maybe some fruits like bananas yeah banana yeah could be great bananas grapes oh, I, I, I don't think we need grapes apples manzanas yeah why not we can make an apple cake yeah Lemons, limones, nah. Okay, pineapple, piña, watermelon, sandia. Sandia? No, I don't think so. Okay, so let's go to the next section. I think we are done here. Oh, I love this section. Very great section. Okay, so do you think we need some bread? Yeah? Yeah, I will take some bread. Okay, so what else? Lollipops? Cake? No, because we are going to make one. No cakes. Uh, donuts? No, donuts, no. Some candies, muffins. No, I think I will take chocolate. Yeah, I will take some chocolate. Why not? Okay, so, anything else? Yeah, that's the last section. Okay, here I think I will take mm, milk. How much milk? One bottle or one brick? Wow, well, one bottle. I prefer bottle. Yeah. Maybe yogurts. How many yogurts? Two, three, three? Okay, three. Good. Uh, okay, so I think we are done here. We have all that we need to make a cake and 
to eat the rest of the days. Yeah, so let's go to the kosher. Let's go to pay. Okay, so we are done here at the supermarket. So let's cook. Welcome to my kitchen. Okay, so we have all the ingredients that we need, but um, I think that we need something else. Yeah, um, for example, we will need an apron. Yeah, it's really important to be clean. Um, we need maybe a pan, yeah. And yeah, we will need an oven. And the most important thing, we will need a receipt. Yeah, okay, so now, yeah, I know that now we have all the things, all the things that we need to do it. So it's time to make a cake. Hey, here it is a cake. Wow, it looks tasty, right? Yeah, so I will give you the receipt because maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to make it and maybe you will want to be a uh, brilliant tough in the future, won't you? Now that we are talking about cakes, tabs, what do you want to be in the future? Do you want to be a tough? Or do you want to be a... Or do you want to be a musician? Do you like music? Do you like to play instruments? Like the guitar, piano, violin? Yeah, why not? Or do you like to be a farmer? Do you like animals, the nature? Do you want to be with the sheep, horses, cows? Yeah, could be a good one. Or a fireman. Okay, fireman is also known as firefighter. Yeah, okay, so do you want to fight against the fire? Or do you want to be a painter to paint pictures, walls, houses. Are you creative? Or what about electricity? Do you want to be an electrician? Or a hairdresser? Do you want to change your look? Yeah, do you like the seizures? To cut the hair? Yeah. Or what about a postman? Going around the city? Yeah, it could be a good one. Why not? Or do you want to be a barber? Fancy. What about a bat? Do you like do you like animals? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one if you like animals. Diver. Yeah, do you like the sea? The sharks, the whales, turtles. Yeah, if you like the sea word, maybe that is your profession. What about builder? Yeah, why not? Mm, gardener? Yeah. Or secretary? Maybe a sailor? Do you want the boats, the ships? Or a fisherman? Yeah. Why not? Do you like to fish? Or maybe an architect? Or a mechanic? Do you like cars? Or a babysitter? Do you like kids? Yes? No? What about the photographer? Do you like to take photos? Or as a cashier in a supermarket? A singer? Why not? Yeah, and be a pop star. What about an astronaut? That's an interesting job. Yeah, I like it. Or a teacher? Yeah, why not? Waitress or waiter? Pilot, a good one. Do you like the airplanes? Dentist, what about to be a dentist? Or a doctor? Or a bricklayer, do you want to construct? A police officer, wow. Do you want to be serious, a serious man, serious woman? 
or nurse, or a tap, a cook, or baker. What do you think about the baker? Well, an archaeologist. This is a really interesting job. Yeah. What about scientist? Interesting. And journalist? Yeah, good one. What about bus driver? Why not? So, what do you want to be in the future? Have you got clear what you want to be? If your answer is yes, keep going. You will get it. You can be all that you want. Puedes ser todo lo que queráis. If your answer is no, don't worry. You have so much time to think about it. So much time to decide it. So keep calm. Now we are going to do some quick games to review all the things that we have seen today. Remember, different verbal tenses like past continuous, present perfect, future with will, supermarket, and jobs and professions. Okay, yeah. So ahora, chicos, vamos a hacer unos juegos rapiditos, así rápidos para eh, repasar todo lo que hemos visto en el día de hoy, que era eh, los tiempos verbales, el pasado continuo, el presente perfecto y el futuro con Will, el supermercado y los, las profesiones. ¿Vale? So, you ready? Ya, yeah, we are reaching the end, estamos alcanzando el final. Welcome to the first quick game. Bienvenidos al primer juego, chicos. Ok, so this is about supermarket. Okay, I'm going to tell you some stories about Juan, Mary, and Jason. They told me the things that they bought the other day at the supermarket, and I don't know why, but I don't remember who is the owner of each basket. So I need your help. I need your help because I need to know who is the owner of each basket. So I'm going to tell you, some stories and you have to decide who is the owner of each basket, ok? Vale, entonces os voy a contar unas historias sobre Mary, Juan y Jason y me tenéis que decir, según las historias, cuál de las cestas pertenecería a, a cada uno, ¿vale? Cuál pertenece a cada uno, ok? So, you ready? Ok, so let's start with Juan. Juan told me that he, that he have come to the supermarket this morning to buy some food because he will have dinner with some of his friends. But I am trying to remember and he told me that in, her, in his basket he had some tomatoes, uh, some lettuce, I think, yeah, corn. He had corn, and what else, what else? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that he had some milk, a bottle of milk, some cheese, and bread, yeah. So, what basket belongs to him? Number one, two, or three? Take notes. Okay, so let's go with the number two. This, this story is about Mary. Mary told me that she went yesterday because she had a meal with her family, with her whole family. She said me that in her basket, she had, uh, yeah, I think it all, Everything that she had in the basket were vegetables. Yeah, so he had chilies, he had lettuce, carrots, tomatoes, and corn. Yeah, okay, so what basket belongs to her? One, two, or three. And let's go with Jason. 
Jason, actually, Jason didn't, no, haven't gone yet. Haven't gone yet to the supermarket. He will go tomorrow because he's going to do a party. Yeah, I remember. Um, he wants to buy some olives, uh, eggs, oil, some meat. Yeah. And yeah, milk. Yeah, okay. So what is the basket of Jason? One, two, or three. Okay, so did you take notes? Yes, so let's see the results. Okay, so the basket number one is the basket of Juan. This, the basket number two is the basket of Jason. And the basket number three is the basket of Mary. Okay. Welcome to the second quick game. Okay, so in this one, we are going to refresh all the verbal tenses that we have seen today. En este juego de ahora vamos a repasar todos los, los tiempos verbales que hemos visto en el día de hoy. Remember? Past continuous, present perfect, and will. Good. Okay, so I'm going to show you some videos. And after each video, you are going to find a quiz. Okay, a multiple choice quiz. After, just the, after to watch the video, you have to decide what verbal tense appears in it. Vale, os voy a mostrar unos vídeos y después del vídeo va a salir un quiz. En él tenéis que eh, elegir la respuesta correcta acorde al tiempo verbal que aparece en cada vídeo. Es decir, me tenéis que decir qué tiempo verbal se ha visto dentro del vídeo. ¿Ok? ¿Ready? Let's go. I vacuumed the floor. But you haven't taken out the trash. Oh, you're right. I haven't done that yet. We have just watched the first video. So after watching it, could you say the verbal tense that appears in it? Past simple, past continuous, or present perfect? What do you think? Past simple, past continuous, or present perfect? So the correct answer is present perfect. It seemed to be such a lovely day at the beginning. I was sitting on the balcony drinking a cup of coffee. The sun was shining, someone was playing a violin in the street, and I was enjoying a beautiful afternoon. Okay, so the second video. Can you tell me the verbal tense that appears in it? Present perfect. Past continuous or past simple? What do you think? Remember, present perfect, past continuous, or past simple? Yeah, so the correct answer is past continuous. I think we'll be back on Sunday evening, so we probably won't have time to meet. How about next week? Last well, video of this quick game. It was a short one. Okay, so in this video, there are two guys talking about what? Present, past, future? What can you say? They are using future will or present simple or maybe past simple. What do you think? What do you think is the correct answer? Future, present, or past? Yes, future. Future will. Okay. This is the end of the second quick game. So now it's time to the last one. The last quick game. This is about jobs and professions. Okay, so let's face it.
Okay, so this is the end. This is the last quick game. This is the last game that we are going to do today about the review. Okay, este es el último juego, chicos, eh, relacionado con, con el repaso de estos días. Okay, so this is about jobs and professions. Es sobre profesiones y trabajos. Okay, so what you have to do here? ¿Qué tenéis que hacer? So you have to match the professions, the jobs, the word list with the pictures. Tenéis que unir los trabajos, la, la word list, con los dibujos. Okay, it's really easy. And I know that you are so smart and you are going to know all of them. So one thing, uh, there is a mistake and there is a job that doesn't appear within the word list, okay? So, maybe you will know it. Try it. Take a few seconds, do it, and in 30 seconds, one minute, we will correct, okay? So, ready, steady, go. It's easy, right? Come on, you can do all of them. I'm sure of that. Okay, I'm going to refresh the word list. Okay, vamos a recordar un poco la, los trabajos que aparecen dentro de la word list. Doctor, yeah, dentist, nurse, vet, teacher, cook, Painter, secretary, singer, okay, butcher. Butcher is carnicero, really important. Farmer, okay, you already know. Engineer, engineer is ingeniero. Tailor, sastre. Baker, you already know it. Pilot and hairdresser. So, come on, match them, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on. So we are going to correct. Okay, so the picture number one. Yes, farmer. P picture number two. Secretary, sec oh sorry, secretary. Number three, <laughs> cook. Number four, okay, this is the mistake. It's a builder. Do you remember builder or architect? You can choose. The next one, painter. After the painter, vet. After the vet, dentist. And after the dentist, butcher, carnicero. Okay. After the butcher, pilot, good. Next one, nurse, then tailor, then engineer. Okay, cook again, another mistake. But after the second cook, hairdresser, good. Then singer. And then, doctor. Okay, good job. Did you do all of them? I'm sure that you did it. Yes. So this is the end, guys. This is the last quick game. So you got it. Good job. We have reached the end of the class. This is the end of our classes. I'm so sad about it. It was a pleasure to be with you guys. Promise, I had so much fun with you. 
So I hope that you enjoyed with me and be with your family, have fun, don't do a lot of homework and don't forget to learn English. See you soon. See you really, really, really soon. Bye-bye. See you.